three judges score this contest. 29, 28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Patty! After Patty Pimblett's victory against Jared Gordon at UFC 282, the phrases robbed and robbery trended on Twitter Saturday night. But why do they say Patty was saved by the judges and the fight was unfair? Stay tuned because in the next few minutes, you're gonna witness how Patty earned his victory over Jared Gordon. Patty Pimblett maintained his perfect record in the Ultimate Fighting Championship UFC after defeating Jared Gordon via a contentious decision in the latter's first ever pay-per-view bout. In the co-main event of UFC 282 in Las Vegas, the baddie was going up against promotional veteran Gordon. This was the first time Pimblett had fought in the United States since he made his debut at the UFC back in September of last year. The charismatic Scouser had already finished the year by choking out both Kazula Vargas and Jordan Leavitt, and by defeating Gordon, he maintained his perfect finish rate in the UFC. Pimblett began the fight by hitting a number of kicks to Gordon's body. Gordon was able to successfully counter the baddie by landing several strong hooks early on in the bout. The Scouser avoided the kick that Gordon attempted to deliver and capitalized on the opening by landing a solid right hand that forced the American to retreat. Pimblett managed to get the takedown but ended the round on his back after being turned over by Gordon. Gordon emerged victorious from the round. What did you think of Patty Pimblett's UFC 2A2 fight? Tell us in the comments section below. Gordon was finding a home for the left hook in the second round, and the audience in Vegas celebrated as Pimblett seemed to sink in a modified choke on the ground. However, Flash did a good job of defending the variant, and Gordon was able to land the left hook. Pimblett accidentally jabbed his opponent in the eye when they were trading hard shots on the feet, which caused the action to be temporarily halted for a short period of time. The score was tied heading into the third round, and Gordon immediately went for a takedown, while Pimblett did his best to break his opponent's grasp. The fight stayed close throughout the whole round. Pimblett's back was jammed up against the fence as Gordon racked up control time. But the Scouser was landing some decent elbows to Gordon's head during this time. After three rounds of action, the judges controversially viewed it in Pimblett's favor, with a score of 29 to 28. This was despite the fact that the Americans continued to grind Pimblett out until the final bell. The baddie commented on his victory by asking, Who the fucking hype train now? The scoreboards from Patty Pimblett's bout versus Jared Gordon, which ended in a contentious decision victory for Pimblett, have been made public. At the event in Las Vegas, the baddie won his fourth consecutive match in the UFC, but the result was met with controversy because many fans believe that Gordon should have been awarded the victory instead. Almost the course of three rounds, the official fight stats show that Gordon was successful in landing more punches than Pimblett was, in according to scoring three takedowns and building up over six minutes of control time. Now that official scoreboards from the fight have been made public, we can see that judges Doug Crosby and Ron McCarthy scored rounds 1 and 2 in Pimblett's favor. However, Judge Chris Lee scored the first round in Gordon's favor and scored rounds 2 and 3 in Scouser's favor. During the post-fight news conference, Pimblett responded to questions over the verdict by asserting that he had won each round of the fight. Pimblett was the winner of the fight. How did you think Patty Pimblett and Jared Gordon did in their fight? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. After the fight, Pimblett said that was a fight that he knew he won. He deals with facts, and the decision to side with me was reached unanimously. It wasn't even close to being a close call. Take a look at Gordon's face. Then look at him. It's because now the damage is how the fights are scored. And he inflicted a lot more on him than Gordon did on him. After reviewing the fight's results and stats, he believes that he was victorious in all three rounds. Gordon is able to absorb a punch, as evidenced by the fact that he continued to advance, despite Paddy landing so many powerful blows on him. Paddy tips his hat on Jared because he is an incredible fighter and an incredible person. The fact that Paddy just finished his first ever three five-minute rounds in the UFC against a challenging opponent who has tremendous cardio has given him a lot of reason to be satisfied. Dana White, the CEO of the UFC, was critical of Gordon's decision to stall for the entirety of his third round and believes that referee Herb Dean should have stopped the fight when there was no action taking place. He stated, he thought that Jared Gordon's game plan moving in the third round was poor, and he went on to explain his reasoning behind his opinion. He said further, Do you want to believe that you were successful with the judges in the first two rounds? How are you so sure of that? Why would you want to go in there and waste the third round when you could be fighting your tail off, trying to gain victory? It is necessary for me to pursue the referee as well. It's a major fight, the co-main event. The crowd is going absolutely nuts and you're going to let them stand against the fence for the whole thing? But according to MMA decisions, the vast majority of media members scored the fight in favor of Gordon. However, it was Pimblett who ultimately got the nod with all three judges giving him the win, with scorecards 29 to 28 across the board. 
After the founding of his own foundation this week, Pimblet explained his ambitions to collaborate with Gordon on philanthropic endeavors in a subsequent statement. Pimblet has conceded that he won't be a champion for several years despite the fact that he already has four wins under his belt in the UFC. He plans to take a methodical approach to his UFC career and has stated that he won't be a champion for some time. The Liverpudlian has not yet faced a rated opponent in the promotion. Nonetheless, two of his prior opponents, namely Vargas and Luigi Vendramini, have been eliminated from the competition as a result of their losses to him. Dan Hooker, the number 11 ranked lightweight, believes that the UFC is taking care of Pimblet by selecting his opponents. Hooker has predicted that he would make Pimblet seem foolish if they were to engage in a fight together. If he's being completely honest, he doesn't want to be the one to pop the champagne court. If he could put his hands on his heart, he believes that he could do anything he want for that youngster. Paddy is on the right track, so doesn't interfere with his progress, said Dan Hooker. Give Paddy the conflicts that you intend to give him because Dan is not the one who will be fighting him. Dan really likes the youngster, let's leave him. Hooker was quoted as saying this to the Mac Life. Pimblet will go with another victory on his record, while Gordon is understandably disheartened following his defeat at UFC 282. The boisterous audience that roared his name early turned largely silent once the decision was read, but Pimblet will still leave with another victory on his record. The word win is essential to undertake the meaning of this phrase. Pimblet has been able to carry this out without any problems up to this point. Before he took home the victory on this prestigious stage, he had already chalked up three finishes in the first or second round. As his reputation grows, he will need to prove himself against more well-known competitors than Gordon if he wants to keep climbing the ranks. What are your thoughts regarding this? Tell us in the comments section below. Can't get enough of boxing and MMA? Learn about the most recent happenings in the world of combat sports right here on our channel. And for that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. If you liked today's video, then do check out more videos like this on our channel.